there is a new secret attachment to unlock for the FTAC Siege handgun in Modern Warfare 2 Season 4. It's an attachment for the rear grip and if you unlock it you'll be able to use akimbo FTAC Siege pistols which is incredibly awesome. The FTAC Siege was a really good weapon already but this makes it just even better. So in this video we're going to talk about how to unlock it as quickly and as easy as possible in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. Now if any of you guys don't know the FTAC Siege DLC handgun was available to unlock for free as part of the Modern Warfare 2 Season 3 Reloaded update but if you don't have it unlocked already you can check out my guide on how to unlock it quickly via the card on screen or link in the description and then once you've got it unlocked you can then use this video to unlock this attachment to make the FTAC Siege akimbo otherwise known as dual wield. Now make sure to leave a like if you find this guide helpful and check out my other season 4 guides like leveling up weapons fast and also make sure to subscribe for more useful Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone videos. But without further ado let's get straight into the guide. So to unlock this secret akimbo attachment for the FTAC Siege the challenge says you need to get 25 hip fire operator kills with the FTAC Siege. So basically get 25 hip fires. A hip fire kill for anyone that doesn't know is basically getting a kill where you're not aiming down sight. There's no medals for this so you won't technically know if you've got a hip fire kill but as soon as you get a kill while not aiming down sight you will know it definitely counts. So now let's talk about the class setup in order to best unlock this attachment. We'll then talk about the best maps and modes and the strategy for Modern Warfare 2 before talking about how to unlock it in Warzone as well. So for Modern Warfare 2 we're going to put on the FTAC Siege obviously and these are the attachments we want to do the challenge. We first come for the Super Tac 6 Barrel, the X10 Sidearm L400 Laser, the FTAC Steed Rear Grip which improves recoil, the 72 round Drum Mag and finally the Rebel HX Underbarrel. Most of these attachments will improve hip fire accuracy which helps with this challenge because we need to go for hip fire kills and therefore we don't want to be aiming down sight. Just make sure any attachments you put on aren't wasted so for example don't put on any optics or anything that improves aim down sight speed because we don't need that we only want to be aiming from the hip so don't waste any attachments unnecessarily for the perks i'd recommend putting on first of all battle hardened which reduces the effect of tactical equipment tracker so that enemies leave behind a footprint trail fast hands so you reload your pistol faster and quick fix which basically means killing players immediately triggers health regeneration and going for objectives increases the health regeneration rate so basically you heal faster for the equipment i'd recommend putting on a stim or stun and ignore the lethal because we don't need it for the score streaks you can put on something like UAV, counter UAV and advanced UAV but it doesn't really matter too much you can put on whatever you want. So what kinds of maps and modes would I recommend? Well in season 4 there is a showdown 24-7 and the Kunstenar District 24-7 mosh pit playlist. These are the new maps in season 4 so currently that's probably the most useful playlist right now but some of the maps you might not like so for example I don't like the one based on the Vondel map, the Dutch one but I don't mind showdown too much. So if you don't like them you can play other modes things like hardcore or free for all where you're using the other maps you're more familiar with and later on in season four there will be a variant of close quarters mosh pit so this will include things like close quarters maps like shipment shoot house dome farm 18 that kind of thing so if that's around obviously use it i'm sure there'll be shoot the ship or some kind of shipment shoot house playlist soon so use that if it's around but if not at the moment those are probably your best bets the showdown and the kunstenar district 24 7 mosh pits now what strategy would i recommend well to get these hip fires you want to run to an enemy and kill them by hip firing at them you want to try to go to the most likely area of the map to get a kill so like high flow areas or if there's an objective mode go to the objective points as more enemies will flock to these. On some maps it may be easier to run around the edge of the map to pick off an enemy so obviously bear that in mind and also seeing as you need to only get 25 hit fire kills overall and not in a certain number per match you can just get as many kills as you can in that match you'll likely finish this challenge easily in one game as it's very easy but it might take you two. And what tips would I recommend to help you get your hit fires faster? Well you want to be fairly aggressive with getting these kills, you want to reload when it's sensible, push to the enemy spawns and try flanking around the edges of the map to get the kills. Use your laser to see where the gun is actually pointing at because that's your target of where your gun that you're hip firing is aiming. And as you move around the map or you run, the movement will kick up the gun and laser and therefore before going around a corner or getting close to an enemy, try to slow down so your gun relaxes and your gun will more accurately be facing the correct position to get a kill faster rather than kicking up into the air. So that's everything I can say for Modern Warfare 2. If you follow that, it's very easy to get those 25 hip fire kills. Obviously this is much easier to do in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, but if you have got Warzone, we'll talk about that now. So for Warzone, it's the same challenge you need to get those 25 hip fire kills the game mode i'd recommend right now is plunder because it gives you infinite respawns a custom loadout no gas cloud that kind of thing so for the class setup it's going to be the same thing again so the ftac siege and then you're going to want to put on the following attachments the super tac six barrel the x10 sidearm l400 laser the ftac steed rear grip which improves the recoil the 72 round drum mag and the rebel hx underbarrel obviously make sure you don't put on any attachments that affect aim down sight speed or you know an optic or anything like that because it's a waste of attachment because we want hip fire kills and then for the perks you want to put on battle hardened tracker fast hands and quick fix with the same effects as before and then what would my strategy be well first things first you need to turn squad fill off and that's because if you have it on you'll join plunder at the moment it's trios but it might be go back to quad 
squads and the other players in your team when you die you will be dragged back to wherever they are so it's really annoying and it can disrupt your flow and it makes it much more difficult to get the kills if you turn that off you'll respawn wherever you died and it just makes it a lot more easy to do what you need to focus on so yeah i would just go for that so turn it off it's in the bottom left hand corner of the menu and when you spawn in go to high flow areas of the map so for example observatory is very popular that a lot of people drop there but also look out for where people are dropping if you see there's lots of people going to one place so i saw somewhere that was just out of observatory i can't remember what it's called but you'll see the gameplay there i kept dropping at this area because i saw quite a few people dropping there so i just kept going there and i'd either get the kill or die and then i'd spawn back in and kill them so it was really, really good i kept doing that over and again you want to go up to an enemy and then either fire at them until they die to get your hit fire kill or you can aim down sight while firing to get them into last stand because obviously if you're aiming down sight the gun's more accurate you can then down them and then once they've been put into that last stand mode you can then hit fire at them to take them out completely and that will count as a hit fire kill so you don't have to actually hit fire with your pistol straight away you can put them into last stand with you know that f tac siege while aiming down sight or you can even use a better weapon if you prefer like an smg or, or an assault rifle for the primary weapon do that just to down them then swap to your pistol and then hit fire like that to kill them that still counts and likewise if you find someone that's already down if you use your f -tac siege to hit fire at them that will finish them off and that will count as a hit fire kill so it's only how they finally die not how you first injure them that matters so don't worry if you started off by aiming down sight it's still okay to hit fire later on as long as the last bullet that kills them was from a hit fired weapon not aiming down sight and basically you want to keep repeating this method you know go into plunder you've got infinite lives your custom loadout no gas clouds so just keep going wherever there's people keep trying to get kills it doesn't matter if you die because you can just respawn in but if you're still struggling i would stay in the plane until it reaches the end of the flight path before jumping out um, basically wait till it's at the very end and you get kicked out of the plane because that way if, if there's any inactive players and it will show you in the top right hand corner how many players are left in the plane until the end so if there's a few players that there it's likely they might be inaccurate or they're trying this method it's gotten a lot more popular so well, people might be trying to exploit it but if you stay in the plane until it reaches the end of the flight path it will kick out anyone that's in the plane you basically go down to the floor or the sea or wherever you are with them and then just basically you can again either hit fire to kill them or if there's lots of enemies around maybe a few of them are active and they're trying to exploit just kill them first or down them and then swap to your secondary the f-tac siege just to hit fire to get the kills so doing that will increase your chance of getting this done faster you can then obviously just try and get other kills in that match or you can back out and do the same flight path method again so it's up to you guys but if you follow that strategy you will unlock the secret attachment to get a kimbo f-tac siege pistols in modern v2 season 4 it is very good so i would recommend checking them out now obviously if you don't have the f-tac siege still like i say go and check out my guides and once you do have the f-tac siege if you haven't leveled it up you'll want to check out my easy season 4 weapon xp guide via the cardinal screen or link in the description in order to level up weapons fast i've also got an insane new easy weapon xp method that gets your weapon to max level in like 10 minutes so definitely don't miss out on that if you found this useful be sure to leave a like so that other people can find the video too and feel free to subscribe by clicking the bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest monover 2 and warzone videos but thank you so much for watching hope you found it useful and i'll see you guys all on the next one